Hi everyone, welcome back to Chef Shaw's Kitchen and today's menu, I'm doing a sweet potato sugar bun, Chef Shaw's way. <music> sugar buns. I have here three sweet potatoes and I think I'm gonna get a cup of sweet potato out of these. I'm gonna grate these and I have here well it's five cups of flour. I have four in this cup and a cup here. Three eggs which I'm gonna beat. I have some vanilla extract, a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of yeast, dried yeast, a teaspoon of nutmeg, I have three tablespoons of salted butter, and a pinch of salt. So I'm peeling my sweet potatoes and then I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna grate my sweet potato. I'm gonna grate the sweet potato on the small side, the fine side of the grater. So I'm gonna peel these potato, as I said before, I need a cup of sweet potato from these. So I'm grating my sweet potatoes on the fine side of my grater. Now I'm sifting my flour with my yeast, my nutmeg, and my pinch of salt. Just gonna get these dry ingredients mixing together and then I'm gonna add my brown sugar and of course I'm gonna melt my butter it's gonna mix the seeds together I should let you know this you're gonna be surprised to see how much liquid is in this one cup of sweet potato these sweet potatoes carries a lot of liquid see it seems dry now just wait and see when this is all mixed in and I add my egg and my melted butter This gonna come really, really soft. It's 
So I'm just gonna beat my eggs after I get this all comes together. So I'm adding my eggs now. My beautiful eggs. You want to get this in our dough. this and then then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to set for maybe an hour it is best to leave it overnight but I'm just gonna let this rest for an hour in the oven you notice how moist it is coming just working the flour and this sweet potato together it's coming really moist and then add my vanilla extract and I'm gonna start kneading my dough you notice how wet it is I had no water or milk or anything like that. This is just the liquid from the, well, the juice from the sweet potato and the three eggs. And it's so soft it is. Now I'm just gonna cover my dough. And I'm gonna place it this in the oven in the sorry the refrigerator for an hour. Let it sit and rise. Usually I'd have it in there for overnight, but today I'm just gonna give it an hour. So I've removed my dough from the refrigerator. And I'm gonna roll it. And if you can see, my dough has rise or risen. Some flour and my rolling pin and on my dough. I'm just gonna roll this out. Get it a few centimeters thick. I'm just gonna cut this in a rectangular shape. Because I'm gonna roll it. Glaze one side of my dough with some melted butter. And then I'm gonna sprinkle with some sugar, some brown sugar.
you don't want it too sweet so you don't put a lot of sugar that's about it and now we're gonna fold I think I'm gonna get maybe nine sugar buns from this amount of dough. Let's see. about it gonna place these in my dish if you notice I put a grease piece of a piece of grease paper or you could just grease your dish or your baking tray And I'm gonna let these bake at 250 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. I'm just gonna glaze my sweet potato sugar buns with some melted butter this will give it some nice shiny color and a bit of buttery flavor These are my sweet potato sugar buns. Chef Shaw's way sugar buns. They're still hot. I want them to cool down a bit before I dig in. So this is sweet potato sugar buns, Chef Shaw's way. So when you try this at home, do it Chef Shaw's way. And don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and share. See you next week.